It's growing enormously, actually. Well, yeah. Why is that? Well, uh, a lot of reasons, actually. Um, the collective of people who work on this are very, very talented. It starts with the music. Uh, we have what's considered to be the best music library in the world. We're lucky enough to represent these incredible catalogs out of Europe, and we've added to that over the years with very carefully selecting the type of libraries that we uh, represent and the music that's produced. Um, we have, uh, generally speaking, a different type of relationship with uh, the composers where they get compensated for in perpetuity and, and a share of revenue. A lot of the libraries, especially here in the United States, uh, do buyouts uh, of the synchronization rights. So they, uh, the composer will get a small creative fee. The only thing they get after that is the uh, writer share of performance income. For the most part, we don't work that way and we're very composer-centric. And I think that that's really made a difference over the many, many years um, that we've been uh, doing this. Um, and the libraries that we represent, some of them have been in business way before APM itself was in existence. And some of the earliest recordings uh, that were recorded for the library go back to the mid-1950s. And um, music that has been acquired additionally goes back to the earliest days of the 1900s. I, I think that we, uh, not only do we have good music, but we're very, very customer focused and customer service focused. I think that's extremely important. Uh, the music directors that we have are excellent. Uh, they know the library, they know clients' needs, um, and uh, they're probably the best experts out there at recommending music for uh, use in moving footage. Uh, one of the women has been here 24 years, another one 18 years. It's uh, that kind of uh, history.